we left here. here. Alright. But science class. Physics. What is faster? Speed of light or speed of sound? Speed of light. Okay. Speed of light. Why don't you look at the graph? Loud, Jim. Everybody's screaming. Grandma's crying. Everybody looking over. They're looking up at the stands. We're looking down at the mat. I tell my guys, look at the ref. Stare at him. And if you watch him do the match, he does the same thing every time he blows this. He does the same thing with his hand and his mouth and his cheeks. Right? They do the same thing every time they blow the whistle. Every time. Look at the ref. Right? It's 0-0. Zero, zero, or you're losing one zip and it's third, and you have to choose bottom. Right? And he's a really good leg rider. This is where he wants to be. First, you're a stud. Don't worry about it. Second, zero cautions because you know he's a leg rider. You're saving him. Why are you saving him? Because if I go too fast, what do I lose? The letter C. And the ref's telling me I'm a champion. And he does that. Champion. I don't lose anything. What about the second time? Nothing. I got two false starts before I'm penalized. He's really good at legs. I'm taking that risk. Speed of light's faster than speed of sound. I'm getting set. I'm getting spring loaded. And then I'm staring at the ref. And I'm not going to go when I hear through my head gear the whistle. I'm going to go when he thinks he blew the whistle. Right? His brain says, blow the whistle. He hears whistle in his ears. That's where I'm going. Have you ever been in the stands and looked down on the mat and a guy hits an escape on bottom and everybody is like, whoa, that was a caution. He went too fast. But they let it go. Has anybody ever seen that? Because we do it all the time. If you're wrestling a guy that's that good at legs, do that. Save up your cautions, get set, look at the ref, and go when he thinks he blew the whistle. And if you go too fast, guess what? Caution. And you can get really good at that if you practice that at practice. When you're tired and you're sweaty and you're cutting weight and you're drilling bottom, wherever you get set, get set where you can look at the coach and look at him and go when he blows the whistle. Not after he blows the whistle. You really can train that, and it really does work. So those are my, before I show you any technique at all, tactics, don't even go on bottom. If you have to, beat the, I, if, you ever, if you ever hear me at a tournament, I'll tell my guy, beat the whistle. Beat the whistle is like get a caution on purpose. That's really what I'm telling you. Like beat the whistle. Let's see what, how this ref blows his whistle. And we'll, we get out all the time. All right. all right. So the rest of the day, we're going to talk about before the leg comes in, as the leg is coming in, and then at the end, both legs are in, your feet in the air, you're kind of in a bad spot. We're going to talk about how to get out of that too. Okay? But first, we're going to talk a couple things about before the leg goes in. Before the leg goes in. So what are some things the coach has told you? to do before the leg is in, or to defend legs, go ahead. Not let them get in, very good, how? No, no, you're on bottom, legs coming in, what do you do? Anybody else? Catch it. Catch it, all right, we're going to talk about hooking the leg and some things that we can do, all right, that'll be the second thing we do. What else? Anybody heard kick and you don't kick, I don't kick. Yeah. All right, so we're going to talk about that. Here's my biggest problem with that. What I don't want to see you do in a match, okay, is kick your leg and then put it right back down. Okay, don't do that. He'll just wait and then throw his leg. Right? Also, and this is usually younger guys that don't have their core strength yet and upper weights. Do not kick your leg back and put your foot on the mat. Right here. Do you guys understand that? Don't do that. That's not a kick. So don't do that. And finally, tripod. Tripod's good. We tripod and we defend legs out of a tripod. We're going to talk about that later. But don't kick, think you're kicking and just do a tripod like this. Okay? Don't do that. Okay? When we kick, we want to kick off the side so we kind of hide our hip. They can't get to it. You guys understand that? It disappears. Okay? Um, come here. Okay? okay? So he's out there, and he's, and he's thinking about throwing legs in. The leg's coming in, and he gets off to the side, and I kick. First, I'm going to kick off to the side. I don't want to kick up between his legs. He's going to western hook me and get, my leg, get his leg in anyway. So you want to kick off to the side. Does everybody understand that? So you're going to have to move a little bit sometimes to do this. Um, you should be moving on bottom anyways, and you should be kind of balled up a little bit. You shouldn't be extended. Okay, so you're balled up a little bit because you know he's a leg rider, and he gets out.